puts a smile on my face. I might call it a night. Javier. Hello, Arthur. Hey, Uncle. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. <laughs> The big man! How are you doing? Well, I can't complain. I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. What else is there? Hey, Charles. Good to see you. Shulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly! Hello, Arthur. Looks like a good book there. Very enjoyable. Well, I'll leave you to it. All right, then.
come from? Hi, I Arthur. Don't know. Hey, Mary Beth. Wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <sighs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. A dog! A dog! Hey, Jack. Uncle Arthur. Look, everything's gonna be all right. I know. Okay, Arthur. You're sounding good. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? No. Ain't none of us so enfeebled. We need charity. Even this fool. <sighs> Always good to see you. Ah, uh, Mr. Morton. You gonna get up? What is it? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. I need to sleep this off. Mary Beth. Room here by the fire, Arthur. So, still glad you fell in with this bunch? I think so. Most of the time. They're not so bad. Sure thing. Because if we can vote, hey, and then the folk, and by folk, I mean men, we'll have to hear about how awful we got it. Hey there, We have Tilly. it awful? Sure. How so? All they'll let us do is teach children, clean houses, and line our backs for money. Much in the way of living. Even fancy women look sour. They'll beat us, enslave us, and punish us Are if there? we try to stand up to them. Guess hey, I never I'm saw here. it quite that way. I think I'd like to vote. Who you gonna vote for? I have no idea. Guess it ain't no use talking about stuff will never happen. What do you think about women's rights, Arthur? I guess I uh, never really thought about it. Voting ain't really my thing. Well, exactly. Hello! Uncle. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. Anyway, you know what to do. Yes, see you later. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? Oh, give it a rest, Morgan. I'm only joking with you. <laughs> shit, you're really getting me riled up there. Tilly. Okay, Tilly. Hi there. Come here. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, hello, Arthur. Abigail. At least say it like you're pretending to like me. Yes, hello, Arthur. I'm only kidding around. Are you Jack's age? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, goodbye. How are you, Miss Adler? Oh. <laughs> you're a good boy. Yes, you are a good hello, boy. Reverend. Hello, Arthur. All right. Ah, away with you! Ah. You flee red and you white rose. Joining us here, Arthur? I don't mean you, Bill. By the way, well, he smells something on you. He smells something on you. Now you're the fool who'll feed him. <laughs> there he is. Hello, Arthur. What's your problem with me? Nothing All right. but the obvious. And what is that supposed to mean? It means go away. Just who do you think you are saying them things about me? I'm the dumb strumpet. Now get lost. Look at me. Look at me. You little... <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> and you be careful before you hit me again, you goddamn moron. Dutch or no Dutch, you'll be up there with the angels playing harp before sunset. You hear me? When are you gonna stop playing sheriff like some little boy? Yeah. I had better days. I see Dutch get off. Okay, that's enough for me. You joining us? Molly? Yes, Mr. Morgan? You see miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. Go away. Hi, Uncle. Morgan? What you got going on? Nothing much. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Oh, Lord. What you thinking about? Nothing much. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it. Just leave me be. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Hey, 
Hey there. Hello, Arthur. It's this way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but... No, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. They might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are, right? decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. 
Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. <gasps> well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. Just give the word. We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move?
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. I think we should search the crates, Arthur.
Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Coming our way. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons? We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. You see, we already dropped a bunch of your people to get. I don't like. <laughs> Can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Don't want to sit on those rifles too long. 
Sure thing. Well, handle it quick, please. You okay? Hello, Mr. Arthur. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? What you reading, Dutch? <laughs> Evelyn Miller, of course. <laughs> that old windbag. <laughs> Tell him about Evelyn Miller, Arthur. Mostly goes over my head, Dutch. <laughs> and Mike is even dumber than me. <laughs> Real funny, Arthur. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I, I know, I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well, you're amazing. Hello, Arthur. What the hell is up with him? He must be after something. Mr. Bell? You come to arrest me, Morgan? All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. It's hot and delicious and all you're going to get. Come on. What we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, Miss. You have my word. You want to sit, Arthur? Hey, Javier. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. Must be hard, being so far away. Okay, man. So what now, Dutch? Now, reading, little son. We're not home free, but... You think they're off our backs? For now, long enough for us to figure out what we're doing. They're gonna let a bunch of criminals go after what we've done. We are not criminals. We are outlaws. There's a difference? Of course there is a goddamn difference. And when you figure out what that is, you'll know what the hell we're doing. Arthur. Well, it feels like we're running, running, killing, and running some more. Listen, these are tough times, of course, but now this is when we have to be our strongest. We're gonna make it. We are gonna be okay, but please, Javier, I need you strong. Okay. Not okay. Okay, yes or no, strong or weak, which is it? It's strong. Strong. You better not be doubting me as well, Arthur. You don't gotta worry about Javier's loyalty. 
I ain't so sure about any of you these days. Ah, oh, come on, Dutch. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. Look at you. Now that ain't nice, Morgan. Hey, y'all. Hey, Arthur. Hello. Any problems? Not any new ones. Well, that's something. All right, Arthur. How are you keeping, gentlemen? You mind if I join you? You know, doubt is a hell of a thing. A hell of a thing. When we doubt, we become the devil's plaything. Makes us do the stupidest of things. Makes me do the stupidest of things. Now you know me, I'm a God-fearing, Rome-hating gentleman. But when the doubt takes hold of me, I'm a fiend for that stuff. When I'm strong, I can move mountains. But when I'm weakened by doubts, <gasps> a child could defeat me. I am frozen by my doubt, and yet I cannot overcome it. It's a terrible burden, friends. A terrible burden indeed. Well, I doubt I understood a word of that. These things are sent to test us. Maybe. Hey, fellas. Evening. place I don't know so far it seems okay I guess I think that there is rich pickings for some carpet baggers like us huh. is that what we are is it avenging your father's death after 30 years there's gold Arthur gold if you say so Hey, cowboy. How are those new clothes working out for you? Has that badge gone to your head? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Sometimes I wonder about you. Hello. Hey there, Tilly. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Mr. Morgan. My lord, you're old. I don't like that tone, Arthur. I'm only joking with you. It wasn't funny ten years ago, and it still isn't now. All seems quiet, Charles. Arthur. Hello. Hey, O'Driscoll, I reckon you must be in the wrong camp. Not this again. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Oh, yes, of course. Silly me. You have to love yourself a fire. It's one of the blessings. Freely given to all. And yet... Perhaps not freely given. I am reminded of Prometheus. In many ways, the Greek myths are best 
in explaining the very punishments that imbue our daily existence with their piquant tortures. Sure, we can have fire. And we can have the knowledge of fire. But with that comes the knowledge of everything. We become like a god. Because to be all-powerful is to be all-suffering. Yes. Thus, Prometheus gave us light and warmth and eternal damnation and the awareness of our isolation for everything holy. Quite the conundrum fire, hmm? It's enough to make a man drink. Or worse. Yep. Gotta love yourself a fire. I don't think they understood one word of that. Mr. Morgan. Dutch? Hope you're working on a plan there. Always. Anyway, won't disturb you. Okay. You all right? I think so. All right. Arthur Morgan. Hey, Pearson. Hi there, Arthur. 